Here we go. Welcome back to the Ride Along Sessions, live and on board right here in Vasiliki Beach in Greece, where right now I'm in some premium intermediate or beginner to intermediate sort of wind. Trying to get the board going faster, trying to improve our straight line efficiency, let's say, using a little bit less stress, a little bit less in our arms, maybe a little bit more board control. That's the sort of skills I'm going to be going through just now. A few little exercises and skills or drills that you can do to improve you as you're moving from a beginnery sort of bracket to an intermediate sort of bracket, but you're not yet comfortable in the harness or foot straps, or not yet comfortable in the foot straps. Maybe you've used the harness a little bit like I am just now. Okay, here's some ideas you can go through. Cue credits. Now, if this is your first time joining me on the channel here, welcome, where have you been? This is basically the way it goes, is I've got a couple of cameras on board today. One of them will, uh, <laughs> one of them will be out of the water very soon. It's a little bit buried in the, the heavy tail just now. You'll see that at the right moment. And I'll also throw on board some other clips from sessions I've filmed throughout the season already, just to solidify the points I'm trying to make along the way. Remember, of course, whether you're new to the channel or you've been with me for a while now, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and pass it around your friends. And do leave me a comment. I try my very best to answer any of the queries and questions you might have along the way, whether it's about this skill or any of the other ones on the channel. Now then, some skills to help you improve from beginner to intermediate and actually moving forward. There's lots of similarities. The top tip to begin with, apart from don't look at a camera, is look at the wind. Read the wind, read the gusts and read the waves. It makes everything so much easier if your head is up and looking over your shoulder. It makes everything easier to do. Not just because you can see the wind and the gusts, predicting the lulls or the waves, but it also improves your stance, makes you much more efficient with what's going on. I find as soon as I look at my hands or my feet or my harness or something down here, whoa, and at the same time as that gust hitting me, it's not easy. Now I'm looking up and the gust hits me, actually, I can step back into the foot straps and speed that board up nicely. Well, I mentioned board, actually, this is a well, it's about halfway through a force four towards five just now. A little bit on and off with the wind as it tends to be. And I'm on a five meter 0.7 spy. I reckon if I was gonna go out for a full power blast right now, I'd be on a, a six and a half, maybe a seven meter sail. But with the idea of improving our skills, something that's not too powerful light and maneuverable, like this five meter freestyle wave crossover sail, does a bit of everything for me, it's perfect. I'm also on the, the Dream Stability board right now. This is the Starboard Go 161. It's got a removable center board that I've taken out, so I've just got a nice big fin sticking down on the water behind me. And this little combination together is your classic intermediate improver style kit. A large floaty board, a sail that's not too big, that it's controllable, maneuverable, and when the wind kicks in, and that kind of links with it, the equipment matches the conditions, when that wind kicks in, woo, perfect flat water, and it's nicely powered up. Now let's spin around. We'll try something in the other direction. As I'm turning here, if you have just joined the channel, that's the first introduction to you of vision. Look where you want to go. Those of you that have been with me for a while will know I repeat that time and time again because it is so, so important. The next thing you can play with as you're improving your skills is your footwork and foot pressure. Now, generally people think of, think of footwork as being what you do in a tack or a jive, but I'm talking about it just on the straight line. When you first begin, your feet will be a long way forwards and inboard like mine are now. Mm -hmm. 
when you're there, I can't really hold the power. So I need to start shuffling out and back. And now I can hold that power a little bit better. Too far in forward, inboard and forward. Oh, it's really difficult to hold. But the question that I think is hard to answer as you're learning these skills is how far forward or how far back. So the skill I want you to play with, whether you're hooked in the harness or not, it doesn't matter, is moving around the board to see what happens. Try standing further forwards on the board, moving both feet inboard and forwards towards that imaginary center line through the board. Try standing further back and further out and you'll probably discover why that board turns up and into the wind. As you start getting more comfortable moving around the board, when it's time to accelerate the board and go towards the foot straps, you'll have the freedom, comfortability, the freedom, comfortability, and the coordination that it's not a problem to move around the board. When you start getting better at your footwork, just moving around in a straight line, you'll then discover that you can steer the board just using your feet. For example, if I want to steer upwind, I'm not gonna move my feet, all I'm gonna do is apply a lot of pressure to the back foot. In particular, the heel of my back foot. And that board whoa, turns upwind and slows down. If I wanna speed up and go away from the wind, pressure through the front foot, flattens the board off, starts to turn me away from the wind. We could summarize foot pressure and steering using our feet under the bracket of trim. I wanna speed up. I'm gonna steer the board using my front foot, pushing the front foot forwards to flatten the board off and go faster. Because a flat board is a fast board. If I want to slow down, that will involve steering upwind and deliberately sinking the tail slightly. I'll do that through my back foot. Front foot speed, back foot upwind and slow down. Front foot speed, whoa, <laughs> no wind for a second. Front foot speed and downwind, back foot slows down, steers me upwind. There is a little bit of rig movement, sure, but not much. We can add on top of that though, some hand movement to help with our steering and our power control and our power drive, how we get the power through the sail and into the board to make it accelerate. For example, if my hands go forwards on the boom, I lose power. I haven't got as much power anymore. I could use this deliberately to help me steer up wind. It's quite effective. My hands go forwards, I can steer up wind a little bit easier but I've got no power, definitely no power drive. If I wanna go faster, I can use my feet a little bit, but first, hands go back a little bit further, then I've got some power. Okay, too fast, I wanna slow down, let those hands come together, I slow back down and skew up wind again. Wide hands, steer off the wind. Narrow hands. Steer back up wind again. Those of you with sharp eyes, especially as I'm dropping other clips over the top of this one that you're watching, the live shot, will notice that yes, my hands are helping me a lot. And actually just having the freedom to move around the boom in and out of the harness massively helps. But that's combined with the footwork that I was just mentioning.
Should have scheduled. Now we could bracket these two footwork or trim control mixing with where we're moving our hands around the body. Ooh, there we go, a little bit of speed there. We could bracket that into extreme steering. And we can do it on the plane as well. I'm going a bit faster now. I've actually slipped into the front foot strap. You don't have to. Hands come slightly forwards. Look up wind, weight on my back foot. I slow down a bit. Hands go backwards. Oh, I've lost the gust. Hands have gone back. I'm steering off the wind, driving through that front foot. If that gust had held me, I would have carried on on the plane a little bit further downwind. And that's quite a nice way to sum up, summarize everything actually we've just talked about here, is a good windsurfer does not go in a straight line. A good windsurfer plays with the wind, plays with the power, plays with the water conditions and the waves to zigzag in the most efficient and effective way. And I think recognizing that as you be moved from beginner status to intermediate or improver or however you want to call it, understanding that I want to go slightly downwind, I speed up, foot strap, slightly upwind, second foot strap, feeling comfortable, I go across the wind a bit more once again, I'm steering the whole time, actually realising that that's okay might well make a huge difference and really help progress your windsurfing. That's it for today. Thanks as always for joining me. I'll see you back on the channel very soon. Don't forget, whack that subscribe button, leave me a comment. I'll get back to you very soon. You getting on all right? Mm -hmm.